Hi Virgo, welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing well. We're going to do your messages from Spirit and the Angels. Ooh, all right. <laughs> Card's already flipping out here. So real quick here, uh, we are going to do messages from Spirit and the Angels. As I said, uh, please know this can be about any area in your life. So just listen to the messages as they come through and really listen to your thoughts, your feelings. You will know how the message applies to you. Uh, everything else is in the description box. You can follow me on TikTok, Instagram. All that info is below. And with that, let's just get started with your reading. I'm pulling one card here. Uh, from the Archangel Power Tarot deck, we're going to get one message here, which is going to be the center of your energy. We're going to pull um, the energy around you, okay? So the energy around your center, the energy surrounding you, all right? Looks like got those cards in there. And then lastly, we're going to pull an Archangel Michael message. Um, see what messages Archangel Michael has for you. Uh, know that this message is uh, detailed and insightful. Uh, so, but we'll read that one at the end. Okay, so let's get started here. So your first card here is one step at a time. This is from the Healing Energy Oracle deck. I see the mountain ahead and dedicate myself to taking one small step at a time. I make progress by staying focused on the present moment, the current task. Thus, I regain my ease of living. Okay. So I feel like what you're being guided here, Virgo, you know, whether this is just in general or whether there is definitely something in your life um, that you're trying to work towards. It's definitely a very grounded, rooted energy with this red energy, right? This is the root chakra energy. And consistency, really what it's saying here, consistency is key, right? Not getting too much ahead of yourself and staying in the present moment, okay? Um, really keeps us grounded, right? When we get too much ahead of ourselves, then we can go into, you know, a lot of different things, negative thinking, right fears you know possibly anxiety so it feels like there's going to be some consistency here for you and i'm liking what i see so far really really nice energy okay so you have the nine of wands here okay so it feels like um a couple things some of you may have your guard up right maybe you've been through a lot of different things uh in your life or challenges uh, could be recent as well, but it's also an energy here of not giving up, right? Persevering. Take it one step at a time. So there may be something here that you're working towards that you're very determined about. Um, and I feel like they're saying here, uh, you're going to reap the rewards, okay? Just, but uh, don't give up is really what I'm getting from that message. The center of your energy, which I usually read first, but that one I was drawn to. Number seven, you have the chariot. It's also Cancerian energy, but it says here, determination and self-control, career advancement, knowledge of success by others. Okay, so... Again, an energy I feel, you know, don't give up, stay determined, right? Stay um, focused, moving forward. Um, you know, I also feel here too, you know, this could be in your career, right? Some of you may be wanting to give up or, you know, could even, if you're going to school, there's some sort of goal here I feel like you're moving towards, um, something here in your life and you may be feeling like you want to give up okay but they're saying not don't give up there's success ahead this is a card of success ahead there may be things that you know kind of um, well how do I say it distract you or veer your path but uh, this is a card where there's success ahead so know that okay now you also have here the three of wands. This is in your, your foundation, okay? What I feel here, something that you've been working towards or something that you're very focused on, you know, maybe something you think a lot about, I feel like it's coming to you here with this three of wands. 
it feels like opportunity is opening up for you here but i also get the energy here this is my go with the flow card at times i feel like this is an energy here of kind of going uh, with the flow right uh, keeping your options open seeing how things play out here right not taking any big leaps <laughs> at this time but just staying focused and determined um, I feel is really what's going to get you to where you want to be because look at that so you have the ace of cups there's some sort of offer I feel that you are moving towards or is coming to you that feels like it's going to be very successful okay some of you it's a love offer some of you it's a love offer um, it does feel like this is a situation that could take off pretty quickly. Uh, I want to say, though, you have to be open, open to it as well. And then you have here the emperor, the top of your reading here. So this could be a love offer, an emperor. I feel like this could be a job offer, right? This could be an employer here, right, giving you a job offer. I'm also getting the energy. Um, I feel like this is somebody who um, could be a father or could be a boss here, somebody of authority. I feel like this is somebody here who um, is uh, giving you appreciation. I feel that energy as well. Um, some of you, this could be a new business, right? You uh, definitely thinking about the potential here of a business or, you know, maybe starting a business here, something maybe that you love to do. So I'm going to clarify um, two, uh, I think I'm going to start here with the three of wands. Why is the three of wands here, please? Why is the three of wands here, please? Okay, you have the world card, three of pentacles, the nine of cups, and the nine of swords. Okay, and bottom of the deck, look at that, three of wands. Okay, so... All right, I talked about that worry energy, maybe even anxiety here. That's why they're saying here, take it one step at a time. Don't get too much ahead of yourself, okay? Very focused energy. So I feel like there's something here you're thinking about. Maybe it's something here you're, you, you're really wanting to come to you um, with this energy. But I would say here, um, I do feel like it looks good. You have the world card, the three of pentacles, and the nine of cups, okay? So I feel like there's something that you're hoping for, you're wishing for, right, um, that you're determined about. And um, I feel like it's coming here. You've got some sort of nice offer here. And it's going to create a new beginning for you. Some of you, this could be about travel, I'm going to say. Some of you may be um, hoping to travel, maybe to meet up with somebody. There's some sort of worry around it, though. I'm going to say here could be could be a job transfer um, or maybe relocating. But let's see why the Ace of Cups is here. Okay, so we have the Hangman. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Page of Cups, Four of Pentacles, let's pull one more, Six of Wands, okay, and Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck here, okay. I feel like you got somebody coming towards you. Um, this feels either like, um, like I talked, it could be uh, feeling appreciated by a boss or a father or somebody of authority or a love situation is really what I'm getting here. Now this could be, you know, like around your career, okay? Um, but let's see what we have here, okay? So you have uh, the hangman and the five of cups, okay? There's some sort of, there was some sort of disappointment. <coughs> I feel whoever's coming towards you has regrets Excuse me. I feel like there has been some delays here in your situation. But I feel also, too, that this is somebody who is seeing things differently, okay, than maybe they did before. And they're realizing, right, they're realizing that what was lost here, okay, as a result. So I feel like you have somebody who 
maybe realized they didn't appreciate you or maybe felt like they needed to show you some appreciation here because here you have the Page of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and you have the Six of Wands. <coughs> Excuse me. This is where I feel like you have somebody reaching out to you. Okay, it can be anybody. It can be a child, a friend, uh, like I said, a boss, a coworker. Um, also get a, definitely a love situation here. All right. So somebody I feel here um, who definitely is coming towards you. They're being a bit conservative, I feel, coming towards you, right? So um, they're, you know, and, and it's interesting because it goes with that one step at a time, and that's the energy I feel here. This is someone who's making the first step, okay? Making the first, um, you know, making taking the first step towards you, maybe being the first one to communicate with you right after a period of time. Um, but I feel like this is somebody here who wants um, who wants to, things to work out, wants this to be successful, right? Have a, a successful relationship here, okay? And what I mean by that, it can be friendship, it can be love, right? It can be father, you know, son, whatever it is for you, okay? Because I feel there was a worry here of something not working out, okay? Some of you, it could be a job offer, I'm going to say. It could be a job offer. Okay. And it may be um, a position, I'm going to say, is more about you um, maybe more enjoying the job and uh, being able to be more expressive or show your work in some sort of way. Uh, more so than it is a, like a real money-making job, right? This also, like I said, could be a new business. So let's just clarify the emperor. Why is the emperor here, please? Six of swords, five of swords. Yeah. Knight of pentacles. Yeah, three of swords. Okay. So this is, I feel... Um, Something that's moving forward in your life where maybe there wasn't a whole lot of movement in the past or maybe it was a situation where there was actually hurt between you and somebody or, you know, you could, there could have been a job loss. Uh, but I see a change here, right? Especially with this Knight of Pentacles. There's a change here. And again, one step at a time, consistency here. And uh, somebody's coming towards you, okay, after a period of time where there's been some conflict, and uh, now things are going to move forward in, in a, this is my smooth sailing card, right? But really learning from the past and getting to a better place where uh, you and this person I feel here can, can heal things, okay? Or you're moving on um, through this change here that I see. Yeah, yeah. Definitely some sort of communication that is coming towards you, all right? Um, after a time of loss or a time of hurting, I feel. So let's see here um, what your message is from Archangel Michael. The message that you have, uh, Virgo. Let's see what you have here. You have be gentle with yourself. Archangel Michael is guiding you towards honoring your sensitivity emotionally and physically. You've been pushing yourself too hard while often berating yourself for imperfections which are in your imagination. This card serves as a reminder that you're doing the best you can in the circumstances you're dealing with. So give yourself a break, slow down, and be good to yourself. All right. So the prayer of Virgo, if you want to say it with me, it says, Archangel Michael, please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing love and everything that I think, speak, and do. Help me know that I deserve this compassion. I release any feelings of guilt to you so that I may experience lasting inner peace. All right, so beautiful message there from Archangel Michael Virgo. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel of love.